in today's video I'm going to show you a simple trick that's going to help you improve your productivity, and that is uh, an FTP or an SFTP kind of extension that you can have in your VS Code. So what I'm going to do is go to my extensions panel here and look for FTP-Sync. Now it's written by Lukas Ronsky, I hope I'm reading that well, and all you need to do is just install it, you cannot because it has about 200,000 installs. Now once you're done with this, the rest is easy, all you need to do is come back to your project that you have here, that you've loaded inside your VS Code, and then all you're going to do is press the command shift P or control shift P inside your VS Code, and what you're going to do is go for ftp-sync. Now it has a number of commands, for example you can synchronize your local files like what we want to do here into our remote server, you can also download those files from the remote to the local, you can also synchronize only the current file to your remote server, or you can upload the files, so this also allows you to automatically just upload every file on save. So what we're going to do is click the local to remote, and that's going to ask us whether we want to config our ftp-sync, so we'll click yes, and we get a small folder here, a subfolder inside our project called .vs code, and in here we have ftp-sync.json. So first we're going to add our remote path, now I have here open my cPanel, and I want to install all those files inside my public HTML and in the trial folder, so what I'll do is just come here, because this is saying root folder, I'm just going to add this to public underscore HTML, and then I'm going to add trial. The next thing, I'll add my domain, and then I'm going to add my user, so I'm just going to black this out so that no one is trying to hack at this, so I'll add in my password here, I'll leave this as port 21, and then I'll change my upload on save to true because by default it's false, so I change it to true because I don't want to think about it as I save, all the files should go to the server. The last thing that I want to do is add the files that I want to include, so I want to add .php files, I want to add .javascript, I want to add .css files, it could also take in my .html files, so I'll save this, so once I'm done installing this, I'm just going to restart my VS Code, I'll open my project again inside VS Code, so what I'll do is press Control P, local to remote, I'll choose this folder, and all I'm going to do is click the full sync, because I want all the files to just sync the way they should be, up and down, so when I click that, you'll see right down here we were seeing something that's saying uh, it's trying to connect, when we click run all operations, we'll see that the sync is actually going on, and now it's told us that it's complete, so I'll come back to my cPanel and reload, and you're going to find that I have both files that I have here, now because I set this up to automatically sync every time I make files, so inside here I'm going to create a new folder which I'll call widgets, and then inside it I'll create a new widgets.php file, and then once I do that, and hit save, you'll see that my sync is automatically doing that, and it says it's successful, if I come back here and reload, you'll see that we have our widgets folder, and we have our widgets, so for me this is a big step, because I've always had to go and open FileZilla, and upload my files, but this is a very simple step, it's helping me improve my productivity, so you could do the same if you're using VS Code as your editor. Now let me reverse the roles, I'm going to create another folder which I'll call remote here, and inside that remote I'm going to create a new file that I'll call remote.php. So the reason I'm doing this is because I want to see this synchronized locally, so I'm going to go for my control shift P, go for FTP sync, and then I'm going to choose remote to local, so I'll hit choose this folder and do a full sync. I'll choose to run, and you'll see that now we have our remote file coming in from the remote folder, and this works out very well for me, so I can either edit locally, 
or edit on my server and then synchronize the work together. This does not replace the value of using things like Git, but this makes it easy for me in my development of simple sites and simple projects. So if you like it, give it a thumbs up, make sure to go and leave a star rating for the extension and leave a thumbs up for the video if you like it. Don't forget to subscribe and hit the bell to get notifications of whenever we have new stuff coming in. Otherwise, enjoy your day.